we were solving a problem of our own, how could we, you know, incentivize people to take an action that we wanted, such as giving us a video review and turn that into a opportunity that ended up becoming an entirely new business that is what I mm-hmm. focus 100% of my time on today, you know, or 100% of my business work time anyway. And um, obviously, if you solve a problem for your business, you likely you know, have something that others are interested in as well. Could you solve that problem for other business owners? Welcome to the Clear Brand Academy podcast, where we take the mystery out of marketing and help you get more leads and sales with a clear brand and proven marketing tactic. I'm your host, Josh Ramsey, and today on the show, we have Marco Torres. And Marco Torres is the founder of marketingboost.com. He's helped thousands of business owners worldwide boost sales and scale their businesses by as much as fivefold through the use of incentive-based marketing. He teaches entrepreneurs how to soar sales and marketing through the use of value add incentives instead of discounts. And his Facebook group is home to more than 30,000 active business owners who are raking in sales with his advice and amazingly affordable subscription program. Thanks for being on the show, Marco. Excited to learn from you about value add incentives. Thank you, Josh. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, yeah, I look it forward to our It kind of feels like Groundhog Day. I was on Marco's show yesterday. I was on your show, Marco, yesterday. And we had a whole bunch of fun uh, talking about what we do at, at, uh, at clearbrand.com. And so I'm really excited to learn more about Marketing Boost and how you got into the world of incentive-based marketing. What is that? Well, thanks for asking. Yeah, incentive-based marketing, you know, that's a great place to start. What is it? Uh, so let me give you some examples of that everybody's going to relate to immediately to understand what we mean by incentive-based marketing. So let's take a look at uh, Amazon Prime. And uh, the idea with Amazon Prime was free shipping. And we all wanted the incentive of free shipping. And we were buying that $99 a year Amazon Prime. And when he first launched it, many of us, if not most of us, were not even into streaming video at the time. We were, you know, still using... uh, uh, Anyway, the point being that streaming video was not as big as it is today. But Amazon Prime was, you know, you had to buy that $99 annual membership, the $99, 99, uh, I mean, to uh, Amazon Prime. And why did we do it? Because we love the idea of the incentive of free shipping. And then after that, that we, we all became hooked loyal clients because we'd end up, if we saw something we were interested in buying anywhere else, we'd go see if Amazon had carried it because we'd get the free shipping. He eventually changed the world where now everybody tries to offer free shipping if they can. So uh, that free shipping model was huge. He now has you know, uh, captured the, the uh, entire marketplace in m- many parts of the world for online shopping. Then there's another example, and that's McDonald's. McDonald's offers an incentive that they call the Happy Meal. And it's targeted to children, right? To families with children. And it helps differentiate themselves from the other fast food companies. If you've got little kids in the car and you're on a long distance trip, you're thinking, you know, let's pull into McDonald's. Let's give the kids a Happy Meal. They're, you're going to take your, the parents are taking their eye off of the price and focusing on the prize, especially the children are, in order to get to, uh, you know, so they'll bundle the soda, the snack, the, 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 the burger and the fries and bundle it with a seasonal toy based on the latest Disney movie or whatever it might be. And now they've got these folks coming in, selecting Burger, uh, McDonald's over Burger King or anybody else in order to get that incentive, that toy for the kids. And then that way the kids are entertained with the toy and mom and dad can maybe actually have a conversation while they're eating lunch. <laughs> so those are two examples of what I mean by incentive-based marketing. And they're obviously not the only ones. I mean... Amazon, uh, uh, Verizon Wireless, T-Mobile, you know, they're always doing these promos, you know, but get, buy our service, get four, four lines and get, you know, the, your, your iPhone free. And so w- w- they're plugging in something to take your eye off of the price of that monthly commitment for 36 months to sign up for Verizon Wireless because you're getting the free phone to go with it, or you're getting a free something to go with it, that incentive, that bonus, that offer that stands out and helps you stand out from the crowd. 
So the question I have for entrepreneurs today, you know, is what is your happy meal? What are you offering that helps you stand out from the crowd, that helps you uh, differentiate yourself and uh, uh, it, from your competing offers, your competitors, or at least when you do get your client, your prospect in front of you, what might you have that helps get get them to, you know, go ahead and take action right away versus the typical thing that we all want to do, which is continue to procrastinate. We want to do more research, check it out, think about it, what have you. So with the proper incentive can help guide, help people get a jump off the fence and purchase or sign up for your product, whatever your call to action might be. It might be book a you know no obligation, an appointment, et cetera. Yeah, that's uh, music to my ears as a dad of two under two. Um, that happy meal, that any distraction that's going to give me more time with my with my wife. That sounds like a a real shortcut into that kind of buying moment that that I'd be looking for. So, is there is there a is there a guide? Is there a golden rule? You know which incentives go with which market sectors or how do you go about choosing, uh, how do you go about selecting an incentive that's going to work or? Well, that's a matter of, you know, really it, it's a great question as well. And it's a matter of testing and we promote, you know, having uh, uh, coming up with some sort of incentive. And in, in our case, marketing boost is an incentive company. We provide the travel incentives, which I'll cover more about if you'll let me in a moment. But we provide three different categories of incentives on a subscription model, very affordable to allow business owners around the world, because we do offer this globally, to add value versus just discounting by adding these high perceived value travel incentives as an add on to whatever your product and services as part of your call to action, possibly. But we also recommend maybe creating your own uh, incentives of some sort. You know, having that value stack. This is nothing new. Many of us have seen this on many, many sales funnels, different products and services. And you'll see, you know, you might see the product. Hey, if you get our product today or this week, we're running a promo. You get, you know, not only do you get product, this particular package includes the following, but it, you get, you know, product B to go with it and you get this bonus with it and you get this extra book with it and you you know and they'll add all these value bonuses it, it to help overwhelm you with value to help you make that decision to go ahead and purchase that product so we recommend doing the same and that might be a matter of you know are you uh, if you're selling information for example you know do you have an additional ebook you can include the one you wrote last year maybe you go ahead and include that with your your new book this year are you, you know, do you have a buy one, get one? Studies have proven, university studies around the world have proven that consumers react better to a ad, a bonus add-on versus a discount. So, you know, grocery stores and where I'm from here in Florida, the United States, they'll have a lot of what we call, you know, buy one, get one, BOGO offers. And you walk in the grocery store and they'll have a whole section quite at the, at the very entrance typically where it's, you know, BOGO, buy one, get one offers. And half the time what they're doing is either moving product that's almost, you know, getting stale or they're doubling the price on, they're practically doubling the price on products. But but our, our mind is mm -hmm. thinking, ooh, buy one, get one. And you end up buying two cans of mayo or two jars of mayonnaise that you didn't even need when you walked in the store. But now the grocery store talk you got you to buy two jars of mayo that you weren't <laughs> even shopping for. And uh, you really ended up paying almost double what they would have been three days ago. But now they're in the buy one, get one stack. And you're instant, you're, you're, you're attracted to go look, touch, grab and see, well, you know what? I could use some mayo. I might as well get two jars you know, today. Do you, know what I'm thinking? do you know what I'm thinking of right now? The fact that I, I opened my cupboard this morning, I've got like, I think I've got about eight massive bottles of shampoo. And it was exactly that. I was online and there was this bulk buy, you know, get buy one, get four. And I wasn't looking at the price I was paying. I was looking at the whatever it was, you know, you know, $10 I saved. And in my mind, I'm going, I just saved money on shampoo. That shampoo problem is dealt with. So, yeah, it does work. And boom, now you got shampoo for the next three months, you know. Yeah. <laughs> or more. Okay, so... And, and that's exactly my point. Like, you yourself, a marketer, a sales expert, you, oh, yeah. you, you know, we bite yeah. for the same the same 
you know, calls to action where added value versus discounting. If you'd seen that same uh, 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 bottle of shampoo and they had a 15% discount, you know, uh, on the on the on the on the shelf, yeah. you know, say 15% yeah. today. Yeah. Eh, you know, you'd maybe buy that jar. Maybe you'd get, you know, walk down the aisle until you see another, and then you see the Bogo offer on another brand that you've never used before. But you, they got your attention. Yeah, get I, buy one, I, get I, one, I and you're like, hmm, maybe. just to get out of that store with all my shampoo. But there it is. It's in my cupboard. The marketing worked. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think I think there's something universal there. You know, this is human psychology. We are we're always, you know, we're looking we're looking for that that as you say that incentive. Why travel? Is is there? You know, I'm imagining there's a lot. There's a big chain in travel. You know, there's a lot of places you could find value. Uh, is is that why you ended up there? Well, you, you mentioned travel, right? Well, yeah. no. In our case, yeah. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you the story of how Marketing Boost was born. If that's all right. So, Marketing Boost. We, my partners and I, have been in the travel business since uh, the early '90s, and. Uh, in 2010 or so, I launched, you know, I was pre previous to that, I was in the corporate world. I was running a, a huge uh, uh, travel company and, and running their marketing and it was generating over, you know, I've generated over a billion dollars in sales in my career uh, in a multitude of products and services, but most of it travel. And uh, so 2008 came around, you know, and we, in, in, in the U.S., it was a disastrous economy around the world. It was affected everybody. And it, it took me from, you know, I'm thinking I was set for life over here. I ended up losing pretty much everything, you know. the Lost my, my job. I had to lay off 2,000 employees. And I had businesses on the side as well. They ended up eventually failing. And it was like, what a disaster. But around 2010, I leveraged my relationships with past people that I'd worked with. And they were all in a similar boat. And we launched a, a, one of our, a new travel site. And we got together and built a company uh, that was really growing and booming quite quickly. But we were, we were wondering that we were scratching our head going, man, if we could only get people to give us video you know, of the hotels and resorts we were selling, we were just wishing if we could only get these, you know, our clients to film uh, video reviews of the mm. hotel, selfie testimonials from the resort, from the mm. beaches, from the pool, the bar. We would, uh, we could leverage those videos all over our ads and our campaigns and our website. But you know, we would ask people to do it, and we couldn't get, you know, hardly anybody to do it. So we came up with an idea to offer an incentive if they would go the extra mile of filming a selfie testimonial. And since we were selling travel, well, we added a bonus trip. So we said, hey, if you'll, if you'll film a, you know, and mind you, this is a takeaway anybody listening out there could implement into their business immediately to help generate more video or more testimonials, more reviews, because in today's world, every business needs social proof. You need those, those testimonials coming in on a consistent basis. Uh, you can't sell something with a review from 2017. You need a, you know ongoing, fresh reviews from your clients, proving your social worth and your social, uh, uh, yeah. you know that, that people Credible. actually trust and use your product. So your credibility. So what we did was we did a survey. Now here's the takeaway: we did a survey when we expected our client to be at the peak of their happiness. And any business ought to know when you think your client is going to be most satisfied with your product or service after buying it. So we would do a survey, not immediately after purchase, but when they arrived on their trip. So, for example, we'd set up a, uh, set up a survey process. The day before they traveled, we'd send them a message saying, hey, you know, we see you're traveling tomorrow. We hope you have a wonderful, safe trip. Uh, if you need any help, reach out to us. Here's our you know, phone numbers and so on and so forth. And then the day after check-in, which again, that was the peak when we expected people to be at their, at their peak of happiness with their holiday, we'd send them a, a message the day after check-in and say, uh, we see you've checked in by now. Can you, you know, tell us how are we doing? How is the hotel living up to your expectation? How has our service been so far? Can you give us a rating of one to five? You know, how are we doing? And if they responded with a four or five, our automation would kick in and we'd send them back a message 
saying, wonderful, we're glad you're, we're, we're thrilled that you're enjoying this resort stay, yada, yada. Would you please do us a huge favor and help us spread the word about this hotel brand and ours? And if you'll go the extra mile and post a, a written review on this link and a video and film a selfie video from the resort pool bar with your favorite spot, and we'd even give them instructions, hold the camera sideways and, you know, do this and the other. And if you'll mention the hotel brand and ours, we will give you a bonus trip, three nights, and in this case, we were promoting Orlando or Las Vegas. And boom, we started generating these video reviews now coming in. And we were taking those video reviews from people all over the world traveling, and we were you know, using them in our new ad campaigns, and we were leveraging them, those into thousands of additional sales. And we turned into you know a, an ongoing flow of these reviews. But then, of course, a few weeks later, we had people saying, "Okay, how do I use my free trip in Orlando and Vegas?" And we had to, you know, we we thought we would run this for a little while, get about a hundred reviews, and stop the campaign because we had to pay for those hotel rooms. So when those people were raising their hands saying, "I want my three nights free," we were, obviously we were digging into our pockets to pay for those hotel rooms for those people. But then we were thinking, what can we do to reduce the cost? of those free nights we're giving away. So we went back to our, since we were in the travel business, we went back to these hotel partners and said, listen, we know you have a problem and we think we've got an idea how to solve it. Your problem, Mr. Hotel Owner, is we know, let's be honest, your hotel is never full year round. You're full on certain weekends, peak season, certain holidays. Uh, you've got special events, but 70% of the year, 30, 40% of your rooms go empty. And yet you still have the same fixed cost. You still have the mortgage, the maintenance crews, the landscapers, the, you know, everything else. And uh, your costs are fixed. So once that clock kicks midnight, if you didn't rent the room, that's revenue you never see, never see again. So we convinced these hotel partners, a few in Orlando and Las Vegas, that, hey, we, if you'll give us the rooms that are likely to go empty, uh, we're going to put, some, we can put some warm bodies, couples, individuals that are in the, to, to take up those empty rooms and they'll spend money at the restaurant, the bar, the casino, the spa, the gift shop, the excursion desk. Maybe they'll book extra nights. They'll come back next to your pay full price. And so we had, a, we got a few hotels to participate and now we could give away those trips we were giving away. We could now give them away without costing us any money. And then we thought after that was working for a while, we're like, can you imagine if we had hundreds of resorts worldwide participating in this, we'd have another standalone business. And eventually that's what became marketingboost.com. We started with about six destinations. Today we offer complimentary hotel stays in 125 destinations around the world from three night stays in places like Orlando, Las Vegas, obviously, but 30 US destinations from, Las Ve from New York to San Diego, to Miami Beach, to Atlanta, to Myrtle Beach, to Orlando, Daytona, you name it. Then we have uh, destinations like, you know, Five Nights in Cancun, Cabo San Lucas, Puerto Vallarta, Punta Cana, the Caribbean. We've got five nights hotel stays in Hawaii, seven night stays in places like Phuket, Thailand, and Bali. We have uh, destinations in, in Singapore, India, wow. Asia, you know, literally around the world. So most uh, mem business owners around the world can, can easily find destinations that are attractive to their clients to use somewhere Marco, close me, by. Let, uh, then we Marco, let me, offer... Let me pause you there for a second. Help me paint a picture here of... And I just want to I just want to soak in that for a little second. I mean, that's that's so... It's so fantastic to, to not only figure out an incentive on the one side, on the client side, but then to, to kind of look back into that that value chain of where your your business is based and then connect those those are the dots. So help me paint a picture of, of, of how businesses out there can think about this because I mean, I, that, I'm, I'm sold. I, I see the value on both sides of this and you're exchanging and building value and that's amazing. Do you teach this of, you know, how, how do we apply this kind of thinking into our businesses? Good question. I really have not been able to like put it in a box or a course or what have you to, to get you to think about problem solving that uh, can maybe, like in this case, we were solving a problem of our own. How could we, you know, incentivize people to take an action that we wanted, such as giving us a video review and turn that into a opportunity that ended up becoming an entirely new business that is what I mm -hmm. focus 100% of my time on today. 
you know, or 100% of my business work time anyway. And um, obviously, if you're solving a problem for your business, you likely you know, have something that others are interested in as well. Could you solve that problem for other business owners? And could you even solve, like in our case, we solved a problem for our hotel yeah. partners as well and help them generate revenue. So it became a, we became a win, win, win. And I'll explain that very clearly here. The win was it's a win for the Marketing Boost subscriber, the business owner who subscribes to us, because they have now the ability to have these high perceived value giveaways, uh, complimentary hotel stays that they can Im integrate into whatever their call to action is. So it's a win for the Marketing Boost member. It's a win for the resort partners because we're helping them fill rooms that would have gone empty and they're generating some revenue mm -hmm. versus no revenue from those, uh, those hotel rooms. And it's a win for the end consumer who gets the who receives the complimentary hotel incentive because now they're traveling for pennies on the dollar. So it's a huge win for them, and so that becomes a win-win-win that has become something that's a, a, a big you know it's a really I'm pretty busy. big deal. Which is why we have thousands of business owners around I'm the just, world. I'm just thinking about how lucky I got that there was no no marketing boost on that shampoo I bought. I probably have I probably have thirty thousand <laughs> bottles of shampoo in my in my cupboard and i'd be spending two nights in cancun uh, i'll probably take all my shampoo try and try and uh, you know shampoo everyone's hair in the restaurant <laughs> okay exactly they were you know they could have put that by four you know when you buy 50 yeah. bottles of shampoo or more yeah, you, get yeah, the you get a complimentary <laughs> night but hey if you buy 200 <laughs> bottles you get you also get some free pina coladas okay so i mean that's that's a universal need to explore to travel and that makes a lot of sense. You, you can tag that onto a car. You can tag that onto a coaching package. You can tag that onto to pretty much anything. I, I mean, people love traveling. I love traveling. And, yeah. um, and so, so that's, that's the core of this. Tell me about the Facebook group. And they work with, they, yeah, they work with low ticket offers, high ticket offers, because everybody uh, wants to travel at some point. Now, here's a couple of takeaways. When people hear this, some of the first things that are raised in their minds, it sounds too good to be true and what's the catch etc yeah. so let's cover well, a couple of things here one yeah one there's no timeshare or sales presentations or any hoops to jump through to use these incentives unlike we're not the first to invent to be involved in the travel incentive business but we did reinvent the wheel and turn it upside down the industry on one how we make it affordable you know previously people would have to purchase these incentives for as much as you know hundred dollars a piece and in our case, it's a very low cost monthly subscription that makes it you can give away as many of them as you'd like for that for that one low cost. Two, there's no again, no timeshare presentations or sales presentations or hoops or phone calls to make. It's an online platform. So after your client receives the incentive, they just go online, activate it by paying the government taxes. I'll cover more about that in a moment. They activate it, and then they'll have 18 months to log back in and uh, select the, their preferred travel dates based on availability. They'll get a number of hotels to, to select from, select the hotel, book it, get instant confirmation on their way. Again, no hoops or anything to jump through. And uh, and and then lastly, they, they essentially the, the disclaimers that are we teach our members to to tell their client is airfare is not included, of course. Food and beverage is not included, and neither are the government taxes and fees, personal expenses. So it's the simple disclaimer, hey, I'm giving you a complimentary hotel stay. Uh, you're, they, it doesn't include personal expenses like transportation, food and beverage, or government taxes. And so that way you've, dis, you've given the basic disclaimer. You can do that verbally, or you can, you know, we, there's easy ways to put that in writing with the offer online and make it a simple call to action with the disclaimers that that there's um, you know there's there are some fees involved for for example getting to the destination either driving or flying uh, obviously no food and beverage because that's what the hotels the hotels yeah. are hoping that you're going to spend some money at the restaurant the bar the no, spa, I, mean, I, I think uh, i think and, the, uh, the best deal is the one that's easy to understand and you buy in you know what you're getting and and so that's that's great that you, you're emphasizing that and leaning into kind of the ethics behind it and i just you know i guess it just it just just strikes me again where an insightful connection of a problem and a solution in this win-win-win triangle that you've described is just it just changes overnight an in industry right because as you say the model is 
is not is not the first of its kind. You you're doing something special with the the way in which you've and your relationships that you're leveraging, the price point you can put it at because of those relationships, uh, which is great. And and um, tell me more tell me more about how how you've kind of been able to jump out in front of the pack. Uh, you, you know, in the intro we mentioned this this big Facebook group that you got. Uh, well, big uh, is a relative term, but you know, it's nothing to nothing to cough at. Thirty thousand active members. So is, is that the primary place that you're talking to? Where do you want to go with 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 my last interest there? Sure. Well, uh, yeah, we got out in front of. First of all, you know that that uh, the, that first step I was telling you, we we ended up with just to give you an idea how many video reviews came from that process. Which anybody listening out there, an entrepreneur, is maybe see the value of of soliciting these these testimonials yeah. like this with the survey process. Uh, let me finish that idea because the survey process is, I think, is huge for any business owner, whether you use incentives or not. But survey your client prior to soliciting a review. In other words, we were, if they gave us that four or five, we were asking them to give us a, a review on multiple pages and we would uh, uh, even throttle where we wanted those reviews posted. So I always focus on this because I think it's a huge takeaway for any business owner, whether you use marketing boost incentives or any other incentive or not. The cert, you, you need reviews. So we would throttle them on third to third party review sites that many of them are almost like uh, extortionists. You've got to pay to be on Trustpilot. You've got to pay to be in Site Jabber. You've got to pay to be on Shopper Approved. And others years ago were very unscrupulous where they post negative reviews and force wow. you to sign up so that you could, you know, so that, That's terrible. So that you could overcome those negative reviews, you know, your so on and so forth. But uh, these, we would, by soliciting these reviews from our clients, we would throttle them and, and have some people posting on Facebook, on Google My Business, on Site Jabber, on Trustpilot, on Shopper Approved, etc. So we would, as we ask our clients where to post reviews, we're throttling them to these third-party review sites without paying for those services. And as those reviews are showing up on those third-party review sites, Google has no choice but to push your site up into the top because of all this activity of reviews coming in for you. Now, mind you, if they didn't give us a, a four or five, if they gave us a one, two, or three, we needed mm -hmm. to know that as well so that we could jump on it and try to fix the problem, resolve it, at least for that client, and then learn from those, you know, those comments that are not, and maybe take action, maybe eliminate that hotel from our list, and so on and so forth. And uh, so we needed to know the negative feedback. And we were also allowing the client to vent with us instead of posting a negative review online. So by giving the client, by doing that survey, you're, you're soliciting a, a, a communication with your client to vent with you if they're not happy, to become an evangelist with you if they are happy. And, you know, you can, you can uh, uh, obviously flourish from both. You need to know the negatives, and you need to, and you want to promote the positives, and ask those that are those that are excited with your product or service to help share the word. So it's a huge uh, uh, opportunity there. Then you ask about how you know we grew the business. One of the ways that we grew the business, Josh, once we figured out you know this is a this travel incentive business is something we can we can probably offer to the world. We added two other categories of incentives. One is the hotel savings cards. These are not complimentary hotel stays, but they're cash credits towards booking hotels and saving money compared to retail. So we have, they come in increments of one, two, three, and $500. And uh, they're good at a million hotels worldwide from our travel club yeah. backend software, basically. Yeah. And uh, so now uh, they come in different increments. And then there's restaurant savings vouchers that we offer that are good in the USA and Canada. And they help people get 10% off, 25% off, buy one, get ones, you know, at all kinds of local restaurants in whatever area of the state or country that they're any, in. I mean, with any, any shampoo, any shampoo bonuses in there for me? <laughs> that sounds great, man. That sounds, that sounds, that's a lot of sense. And yeah, it's just the scale. It's the economy of the connections that you mentioned a million resorts, a million restaurants. I mean, that is, that is quite a, quite a network and then and then so sorry i cut you off there you're talking about the the gift cards you mentioned a third category of incentive i'm curious what is that 
No, the yeah, the second is the the yep. well, we have three, right? The complimentary hotel stays, the restaurant savings vouchers, and the hotel yep. savings cards. Okay. Those are okay, the only yeah. three categories. And the the for example, talking about the hotel savings cards because this is pretty cool. They, because they come in one, two, three, and five hundred dollar increments. The idea is. They all do the same thing. They save you money on the hotel, but the different dollar amounts allows the marketer, the business owner, to test different dollar amounts in whatever the call to action is. I call it a micro incentive for a micro call to action. So today's world, most of us are using Zoom technology or something along those lines to have you know online sales calls with your, your sales staff or yourself meeting with people and sharing your products and services and eventually asking for the for the close and uh we have two challenges on that one getting people to book that zoom call with you in the first place and two when they do book a, a call with your yourself or your team getting them to actually show up because people book appointments and then there's obviously depending upon your your, your, your strategy you may have a, a lot of no-shows we have found that people using our hotel hotel savings cards are very successfully booking using them as a as a call to action to book that no obligation zoom con, you know, consultation call get a free quote yada 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 and uh and then they're all of their reminder messages with you know automation for your calendar can be added by the way we think your time and our your time is super valuable uh we think ours is as well that's why we want to reward you a 200 dollar hotel savings card for showing up on time for our appointment. And if you can just imagine if you incentivize people after they book the appointment or even as part of the booking process, you're going to one, possibly get, probably get more bookings in the first place for your sales team. And two, you're going to get more, eliminate a lot of the no-shows by dangling that, that carrot of the $200 hotel savings card for appearing on time for the Zoom call. Uh, or getting people to show up for a webinar or stay till the end of the webinar or again using these incentives in a myriad of ways to get more eyeballs on your product or service if you're a multi-level marketing it might be you know show up for yeah. our, our business opportunity meeting and we're, you're going to get a 200 dollars hotel savings card etc and uh, that is one simple way that business owners around the world are using these what i call mm -hmm. micro incentives the restaurants card or the and hotel savings card to get people to get in front and, of and more are eyeballs. you seeing you know the data on on the intention of the person showing up that is you know grabbing that carrot are they is there a certain percent and is that is there an acceptable percent that are just showing up for the carrot but actually aren't that interested in <laughs> let's just keep going with the shampoo you know they aren't there to they aren't there they aren't there to yeah, kind of really take the sales call seriously or is that not an issue have you got data on that I don't have data on that because it is, uh, we've got all kinds of businesses using our service, but I do have enough feedback mm -hmm. from our members to say that, yeah, there's going to be uh, a few that 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 come on board, you know, for the freebie, uh, join a call for the freebie or what have you. But in comparison to the, the most people don't have time to sign on to, you know, uh, listen to sales pitches or what have you yeah. for a freebie you know uh, and i see this on my linkedin page all the time i get people kind of, you know reaching out to me saying hey you know book a no book a uh, uh no obligation appointment with me and i'm going to give you a you know a hundred dollar amazon you, you gift card the irony or, there. or a fifty dollar the, the king of incentive based marketing or yeah and, 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 and but a lot of them yeah and, and a lot of them yeah. are hitting me up they're hitting me up with incentives yeah. which is kind of funny but but the point is those types of incentives they they work but they also have hard costs you give away somebody a, a hundred dollar amazon gift card that yeah. costs you a hundred bucks you give somebody a a ten dollar uh and they work mind you these are good incentives as well you give somebody a ten dollar uh starbucks gift card for you know uh, as part of the process to go through you know, get an appointment they will help people show up for the appointment but they cost hard dollars. Your ten dollar, you know, an Amazon gift card, a, a um, whatever gift card, typically costs dollar for dollar. With the marketing boost incentive, if you don't mind me pitching the price, it's only thirty seven dollars a month, Josh, to be a member of Marketing Boost. 
super low cost, any entrepreneur can afford it, and we give them the access to all these travel incentives. Now, why can we do it so affordably? Because we own the travel company on the back end that supports all of these incentives, and we are the ones you know, fulfilling the trips. We're also the ones that generate additional revenue by helping people upgrade room mm. types, upgrade to all-inclusives, uh, add additional nights, add excursions, etc., and so there's revenue on the back for us as we help the hotel generate additional revenue as well. You know, so <clears throat> we make money when these. Yeah, we for actually, sure. I mean, you, we actually pay commissions to people. Yeah, to give you, you, you wouldn't be revenue. doing it if if it wasn't paying the bills. It, it reminds me of a story of of I, whether it's true or not, I don't know, but I know that the the truth behind it is 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 worth remembering. So there's a story of of Leonardo da Vinci being in a in a in a or Casso, choose your favorite artist in a restaurant. And, uh, you know, a fan walks up and says, hey, could you do a little scribble on a notebook, on a napkin? And, you know, there they go, scribble two seconds and hands it over and says, that's, that's $10,000. And they say, oh, it only took you a second. And said, yeah, but it took me my whole life and those two seconds. That's what it sounds like here. You've, you've been building up all these relationships. You've been, you know, killing it in a big corporate environment. You've got this travel back end. And now you've created this, this, this very, it sounds like a very effective and very clever model to, to give entrepreneurs out there that can't you know don't have the experience the time the relationships to leverage so i, I think it's a really interesting offer and um yeah is there anything else you want to add about it um i know we've covered a lot in this also the surveying process and i really like that there where you had you know picking up on that peak moment surveying the peak moment um a little bit of a summary there of what what i've taken away but did i miss anything what did what do you want to add in here before we start well, uh, you know, with a little think creative, creatively here because these these um, we've helped so many business owners. I mean, the 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 I have a myriad of, of success stories and uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for um, case studies of, of business owners that have made you know tens of thousands of dollars, you know, several even over a million dollars in additional revenue thanks to adding an incentive like this. Uh, let me give you one story again, Josh, of one of our members. He had a subscription model. He, had, he has people paying him $97 a month for tips and when to buy, sell, trade stocks and, and uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. He has a big team of analytic guys coming up with when's the best time to get in and out and moving things along for the day traders and what have you. And uh, he, they would pay him 97 a month. And then he found a marketing boost and he had, you know, several hundred people paying him, you know, his, his members. He, he ran a marketing boost promotion and said, hey, if you'll pay us for 12 months in advance and become one of our gold members, whatever he called them, um, you get a couple of bonuses of his own. Plus, if you pay in advance, you get five nights in your choice of Cancun or Hawaii. If you pay for six months in advance, you become our yeah. such and such level and you'll get a choice of three nights in Las Vegas or San Diego, for example. And he had over 350 or so step up and pay the annual plan, which is 1200 bucks, and another 100 or so pay the six month plan, which was what our six, seven hundred. And uh, in short, in four days, he made almost five hundred five hundred thousand dollars in additional revenue overnight. Uh, which has now become part of his ongoing process. So, you know, just to give you an idea again on how how adding and they can be used, they can be used for you know loyalty programs, lead generation ideas. They can be used for uh, engagement, re reviving an old database, running a contest to an email database that's getting kind of stale, and you know trying to get them to open get them to open the their, their email accounts was saying, you know, we're giving away some trips on the next webinar, yada, yada. Uh, I mean, it's it all it takes is a little bit of creativity and, and yeah. start testing. And, you know, these these incentives can go a real long way. They're not, we're, you know, we're not the magic bullet that's going to take a business from zero to hero at all. But if you already have a product or service that, that's successful then this is a way to either use these occasionally just to spark up some unique, exciting, you know, 
promotions for different times of the year, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Father, you know, along the way, or as a consistent marketing strategy. And another guy who has a, a company that does uh, windshield replacements throughout the U.S. and, and Canada and throughout all over the U.S. And um, uh, they are in a very competitive business where they have to give cash rebates to clients to entice them to select them versus some other uh uh, windshield company because the insurance company actually pays for the new windshield so it's not an yeah. expense to the consumer so they would say we'll give you a cash rebate if you you know hire us to replace your windshield and what they did when they found marketing boost was they would they would go ahead and continue with the cash rebate because that's what all their competitors were doing so they would get the people to book them to replace the windshield. But when the installer showed up, after he installed it, he would say, hey, I can give you this check for your cash rebate for, you know, $150. Or I can replace that with five nights in Cancun on us. And people would select the vacation certificate instead of the cash rebate. And these and they were keeping that cash in-house to the tune of over a million dollars in the oh, last man. two years. So it um, of additional revenue that they were able to keep in-house by switching the cash rebate for the hotel stay. And of course, he would commission his installers if they would talk them out of the cash rebate and instead, you know, yeah, sell them on the, on the uh, vacation incentive. So uh, there's so many different ways to do that. Oh man, it's been a great conversation, Marco. Thank you. And, and thank you for all the hard work over so much time to, to build kind of bridge these, uh, these different uh, networks and, and approaches. So for anyone that wants to check you out, marketingboost.com, go and check them out. And um, thank you so much for being on the show and look forward to, to keeping track of, of what you're doing and where incentive-based marketing is, is going in the future. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. It's been my pleasure. Thanks for listening to the Clear Brand Academy podcast, where we take the mystery out of marketing and help you get more leads and sales with a clear brand and proven marketing tactics. If you liked this podcast, please leave a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts. If you'd like to outsource your marketing to our team, go to clearbrand.com.